Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're going to take a look at suspension squatting. The way I do the suspension squats in my studio is with the TRX, and then I take, we make these Pilates support scarves for different things, and the, it's really strong cotton, but it also gives a bit and it's soft, and it makes the perfect sling here. So it's really, really secure, and I've just knotted it here in the back. Now again, the squatting is talking, it's a, tr a transitional exercise to build energy between our first and second chakra. So our second chakra is to honor one another, to, ha to be able to relate to other people, to be comfortable. Um, and so the squat really helps us to, to, to be comfortable with ourselves so that we can have really good relationships with other people. So here's another technique. Again, especially in our culture, people have lots and lots of trouble with squatting. Mostly because we've just never done it when we were young and we haven't um, grown up doing it. We've just been sitting in chairs. So this suspension squat really takes the weight of our torso off our pelvis and legs so that we can flex much better in our hips and our knees and our ankles. Um, ideally, if it feels okay, you want to have a parallel leg and foot which is hard for a lot of people, but with the suspension strap, it might be possible. So try it. If it doesn't work out, then you can just turn your legs and feet out. But try a parallel leg and foot, and you can hold on here to the neoprene handles or onto the strap. And for this one, you'll lean back first. You want to keep the tension in the straps the whole time. So you'll walk your feet forward just a little bit, you keep the tension on the straps, and I'm going to start to lower myself into a full squat. And what I'm feeling here is that the, the, the sling behind me is passively lifting my back ribs up to the ceiling. Really nice. So it's filling out my mid-back. And here, I can just relax into the squat. I can just let my pelvis go, relax my pelvic floor. And this traditional squat is stretching all my erector spinae muscles, and in turn, it's pulling my coccyx into nutation. So it's bringing my tail coccyx out. And that is why this is the golden posture for birthing, because it creates the most room between your pubic bone and your tailbone. And then here, staying really comfortable, you can also start to shift the weight, the weight side to side, which is really, really nice for opening the hips and the pelvic floor while just releasing the head, the neck, and the jaw. Now, another thing I really love about this and I love for myself and my clients to pay attention to is the coming out of it because it's almost even better than the squat. So you'll start to reach your back body into the strap. So you're filling up your thoracic spine and you walk back. So you feel that full beehive of your thoracic spine. And we'll go back into the squat so you can see that again. So you want to keep the tension on the straps the whole time, feeling that sling just pick the back of your body up towards the ceiling. Now, when you get really good at this, you can start to add a little circling of the hips and legs here. So you go to the side. So I'm opening my right rib cage. I'm opening the back of my body. I'm opening my left rib cage and back into squat. And the whole time I'm fully supported here. This feels wonderful. And I'm getting this great rotation in my pelvis and in my femur heads and also that rotation in my knee and my lower leg and around the bones of my feet with no strain. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question you'd like answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on our forum. See you next time and never stop learning.